What's going on, guys? I'm Jay the Black. Salute to everyone that's tuning in. I'm going to talk about an NFL player by the name of Vincent Taylor. He's a defensive lineman. And he was dating this female by the name of Kiana. And for whatever reason, they broke up. And apparently, they were putting out revenge flicks of each other. I believe it may have started with her. And then he may have retaliated. And uh, I'm looking at these messages, and it's very clear to me that this may have been a toxic situation for quite some time. And what makes this thing even worse was that she was a alleged side chick to an NBA player by the name of PJ Tucker, which is, I think, the interesting part here, which I think that this makes this whole thing even worse. And a lot of times, man, when you're dealing with these young athletes, man, they have to know how to navigate the waters. This female just a year ago got caught trying to date a guy who is presumably married to another woman. And she is in these messages trying to get with this guy. So you fast forward to a year and she's in this toxic breakup that her and this guy is going through. Then she proceeds to make fun of his weight. You know, she was asked a question about why is she dating fat football players, even though she's not the slimmest of women. And the thing is, is that that fat NFL player has more value than any other man she's probably ever been with. That's why she's with them. OK, because he can afford he can give her a lifestyle that most of these other guys can't as long as he financially can put them in the right position. And that's what happens, man, with a lot of these women. man. And these young athletes got to be careful, man. These women are not with you because of your great personality. Right. They're with you because of what you can do for them. They're with you because of the lifestyle that can be afforded to them. That's why these guys have to do research on the women that they're dealing with. This female just last year was caught being a side chick to a married man in 4K. She was caught playing the side role in 4K. And I'm looking at these text messages. I'll put a link so y'all can see that this, the, the history. And she's and that's the thing. And I was going to do a live stream on this. You got women like this, right? they display a whole lot of side chick energy. Women with side chick energy cannot be trusted. And it wouldn't surprise me at all when she was with him, she was dealing with other men. Some women just have this untrustworthiness with them. And she was like that. Why are you putting out revenge flicks of your ex? Why are you putting out revenge flicks? Why do you feel the need to do that? Are you mad about something? Did he break up with you and you're hurt? See, that's the thing, man. You have to be very careful of the type of women you bring into your life. I don't care if you're in the NFL. I don't care if you're in the NBA. You have more resources to make sure that you're dealing with the right person. Now, I know these guys don't watch, uh, look at blogs or watch videos and really understand the type of people that they're dealing with. But, bro, uh, it was just last year that your girlfriend, because I don't know when they started dating or broke up. It must have been a recent breakup. She was caught being a side chick. Once a woman is caught being a side chick, you need to really reevaluate why you're with her in the first place. But when you have these guys, unfortunately, they may not be used to getting a lot of women like that. And they think with the wrong head. They start dating these women because in their minds, they can't get better women on their own. And that's sad. It's sad that these guys don't think they can do any better. So they end up dating these type of chicks who are side chicks, who are one night stands, right? A lot of these chicks are out here selling themselves. These are the type of women that you're seeing out here. This woman was caught being a side chick to a married athlete. And, it, and the fact that 
he still dated her and to the point to where now he's figuring out that maybe he shouldn't have dealt with her because of all the side chick energy that she is showing. And when I say side chick energy, when it comes to side chick energy, you have to look at uh, the fact that she's willing to put messages out there. She's willing to try to expose people. She's putting your, t your, your adult flick out there. This is not the type of woman you should be trying to get into any serious relationship with. I, you know, this, this is the type of person who's probably never been treated right by any man she's ever been with. And when women have never been treated right and in relationships, they don't really know how to manage things. Right. And I think a lot of people have to understand that. Listen, I understand that these guys, they, they don't really do their research. They just look at their bodies and they're attracted to them. But you have to look at the past, man. A lot of these chicks are mentally screwed up. A lot of these chicks are mentally screwed up, man. You can't save what is broken. A lot of these westernized women are broken. They don't care that the world sees them as a side chick or a jump off or non-marriage material. As long as they're able to get some attention for their struggling Instagram modeling career, they're willing to do whatever it takes. And that's why it's, you know, these women are a sad case, man. A lot of these women are sad. There's no fixing them. You need to do your research on the type of people you're giving energy to. Unfortunately for him, he gave energy to the wrong woman. And that woman is, 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 is literally making him do some immoral shit that could ruin his career. If this dude was to put out her adult flick, he could ruin his career. And she knows this. She knows this. That leads me to believe that maybe the breakup was his idea. He got tired of her and kicked her to the curb. She's so used to being rejected that she's now trying to, I'm going to say fight back, but she is retaliating when these guys dump her like with PJ Tucker and now with uh, Vincent, she's, you know, putting out stuff and thinking that it's all funny because she's hurt. She got rejected again. <laughs> Nobody wants to be with her like that. She's unstable. She serves no purpose. There's no reason to deal with her except for having relations with her. But once she doesn't have relations with her and you see how crazy she is, then you want nothing to do with her. And that's the story of her dating life. That's how it always is going to be with her. She is just in full denial. That's why she put his flick out. And then she wants to claim, well, if you put my flick out, I have lawyers. How, first of all, how can you afford a lawyer unless you're screwing one, which I wouldn't doubt until you put out his stuff. You're trying to make him do something that could ruin his reputation, his career. If you are done dating him, leave him alone, block him. Why are you trying to expose him like this? Unless you want him to ruin his career. You want to embarrass and humiliate him. Because he left you. You're feeling hurt. Women who walk away from a situation don't do what she did. But you have to look at the history. She has a lot of side chick energy, and, and which is why she will be perpetually single.